Welcome to this week's edition of Outdoors Online, a weekly webcast produced by the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. I'm your host, Mike Anderson. My guest this week is Education Coordinator Jeff Long. Today we're going to talk about the National Archery in the Schools program, also known as NASP. Jeff, give us a little background on the NASP program. Okay, well the National Archery in the Schools program, or NASP, was started in Kentucky 2002 as a way to attract more kids and, and a different audience to the shooting sports by offering a shooting sport in a gymnasium. And the program, of course, caught very quickly and, and went into other neighboring states. And before you know it, you know, they were looking at a national program. And the goals that they had set forth to have it in 43 counties in Kentucky, it was more like 25 states had already adopted it. So that's kind of the, that's the, that's the, the growth pattern that has existed throughout the program. How many schools are in the program in North Dakota? The program has been implemented in over 200 schools in North Dakota uh, since 2005. And the program has proven to be safe. Yeah, that, one of the founding principles, one of the three founding principles of the program is safety first. And it's a pretty impressive record. They have a 100% safety record. And when you look at the growth of the program and that they are now uh, there's 2.2 million kids, 2.3 million kids per year. That's an annual number participating in archery in a school gym. Uh, that's a pretty impressive safety record. But it's all built on the safety protocols, the standards, the range movements, and the teacher training standards. So every instructor has to go through an eight-hour certification course to learn about the equipment, learn about these protocols. Okay, and it's an individual sport. It is an individual sport, and that's kind of the unique thing about it. Uh, a lot of sports, of course, are team sports, but the other unique thing is it's also a team sport. So there's an individual category, which is really neat because kids only get out of it what they put into it. If they want to be on a team, they can also be on a team. So it, it, it fits for a lot of kids and a lot of families. You know, most of us know that being a part of a team can sometimes be, be draining when you're running all around having to go to tournaments, but they only have to go to as many tournaments as they want to go to in the individual category. National archery in the schools is for everyone. Yeah, that's part of the reason for its popularity and growth is because when the program is implemented, it becomes plainly obvious that this sport is for everyone. The boys, the girls, the athletes, the non-athletes, everyone fits into the program. And I get testimonials from teachers and coaches every year about that certain kid that they reach through this program that they were unable to reach before. That kid wouldn't even crack a smile doesn't talk to other students and all of a sudden they get in this archery thing, they start having fun, they realize they can do it. Uh, one of the other founding principles of NASP is a positive environment, so all the language is positive, it's always positive reinforcement, and all of a sudden this kid's smiling, having fun, and interacting with other kids. Not only in the program, but outside of the program in the school halls, all of a sudden this kid now has this sense of belonging. And so this quickly gets into the culture of the school and the administration and the teachers see the, the positive things that this program has to offer for their school. Jeff, in the state tournaments in middle of March here, the NAS tournament has grown probably 10 times the size in the last 15 years. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, you know, the first, the first state tournament was 11 years ago. The program started 15 years ago. We had our first state tournament. It was a postal tournament. So they just shot in their gyms and mailed their scores in. That had about 85 kids. And from there, it essentially doubled each year. And so now, yeah, we're, we're looking at 10 times the number of kids. We're expecting about 1,000 kids this year. And we figure we're probably going to have to turn a few away and are going to be looking possibly at, in the future here, very near future, having to have some sort of qualification to attend the state tournament. Thus far, it's anyone that wants to go can go. OK, when and where is it? Uh, the state tournament will be held March 20th and 21st in Minot at the State Fair Center. A lot of these small towns have started their own NASP tournaments. Yeah, and that's, that's the place where we're seeing the most growth. The state tournament does continue to grow 10% a year, whatever it is, but over the last five or six years, the, the small towns, the schools in these smaller towns have begun hosting their own tournaments. And it went from six tournaments spread out from December to mid-March to now, in 2020, there was 23 local tournaments going on. So essentially every weekend from the first part of January, even right before Christmas, one of the schools had a little Christmas shoot, uh, there's, a, there's a NASP tournament, a local NASP tournament uh, in North Dakota somewhere every single weekend until the state tournament. And in fact, some weekends there's two and even three tournaments. 
So there's a lot of people headed down the highway every weekend chasing these tournaments. Some of them go to one, two, or all three uh, in a two-day period. Friday, Friday, Friday night flights or Friday night shooting has become more popular because there's so many tournaments and they want to go to them all. A lot of these small towns, when they start their own tournaments, they get some help from the NASP committee. What is the NASP committee? The NASP committee officially is called the North Dakota Youth Archery Advisory Council, and it's made up of a group of coaches, parents, well, every member has to be a coach that's actively part of a team, part of a NASP competitive team or school program. And these people help plan the tournaments. They help with the state tournament. They put in hundreds and hundreds of volunteer hours. They come up with different, different initiatives and incentives. Uh, but one of the things they also do is they'll help when a school comes onto the scene and they want to host their first tournament, They'll come down, they'll bring equipment down from their own schools, uh, they'll bring uh, the, the technology down to do the scoring, and they'll help them with that scoring process, because the first time you do it, it can be a little bit overwhelming. You have a lot of moving pieces to, a turn, to setting up a tournament, running that tournament, doing the scoring, and keeping everything seamless. So they'll come down, because the, these people have, have all hosted multiple, multiple tournaments of their own. So they'll come down and give them that technical advice, and, and actually not just advice, but they'll actually come down and help them run that tournament. And if a school isn't in the NASP program, what can they do if they're interested? If they're interested in, in implementing a NASP program in their school, first step, give me a call. My number is 701-328-6322. I can get you started. I can point you in the right direction for who you might want to talk to, how you get this thing going. We also have grants available, uh, both from the state and national money available through NASP to help the school with the startup cost of the equipment. A lot of great information, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. Like Jeff just mentioned, the state tournament for the National Archery in the Schools program is March 20th and 21st at the State Fair Center in Minot. For Education Coordinator Jeff Long and the rest of the staff here at the Game and Fish Department, thanks for joining us for this week's Outdoors Online. We'll see you again next week.